Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome back to another Marvel What If episode. Uh, I know I haven't done one of these recently, mostly because I've been kind of busy with the video game side of my channel. Um, also along with the reaction side of my channel. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really made a lot of these videos, mostly because they don't get that many views. Um, on YouTube, but I actually upload these videos to Instagram and they get twice as more views than they do on YouTube. So uh, this this is like the only YouTube series that I have posted on Instagram because it's kind of one of the shorter ones. So today, it's not mostly kind of a what if for a character. I'd kind of like to go over um, something from Avengers Endgame. Uh, when they went back in time, this is a spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, but if you haven't seen it yet, yet then you're li just, you must have been living under a rock this whole time, or just don't care about Marvel movies. So, I want you, I don't know how you can go almost, like, 11 to 12 years without ever seeing one Marvel movie. Like, uh, besides the point, so... In Avengers Endgame, when they go back in time, they they kind of make new branches of reality or new timelines. Um, mostly when they take out the stones, they said that they just, you know, bring them right back. Well, as I was like, I, I've seen Endgame at least maybe 10 or 15 times now. I, I, I've seen it multiple times and because of Disney Plus, we can pause it and uh, unpause it whenever we want to. But some of the things that kind of stuck out to me were every time they went to, like, a, a past event, they actually didn't, you know, they, they didn't actually, I don't know how to explain it. Even though they got the stones, they still came out of that event changing something. For example, let's start at the beginning when, or the earliest time, 2012, the first Avengers movie, when... They went to go and get, they went to get three stones and ended up with two. In the process of Captain America getting the Mind Stone, he told 2012 Captain America that Bucky was alive. Now, Captain America didn't know that yet until 2014. So now, that new Captain America has to live two years wondering if Bucky is really still alive or if Loki was just messing with his head. Also... 2023, Captain America said in the elevator as they're going down to uh, Hydra, he told, um, I can't remember what that guy's name was, but he told him, Hail Hydra, and they gave him the uh, scepter, which had the Mind Stone. Now, he didn't really, Captain America didn't get involved with him until, until two years later in Winter Soldier. So, basically, Captain America set up two things interesting for the new Captain America in, um, for Winter Soldier. So when they meet again, they'll probably, or like the guy who, you know, where Captain America said Hail Hydra to, he'll be wondering, well, I thought you were on our side. You said Hail Hydra. You, I thought you were on our side. And then Black Widow kicks him off the building. Or something strange. Um, and the same thing with him telling him that uh, Bucky was still alive. He then finds out that Bucky is alive, but maybe instead of like when um, the Winter Soldier first arrives, Maybe he'll be able to confront him sooner and be able to, you know, change his ways before everything bad happens. That's just a theory. Um, the whole thing with the ancient one and Hulk that would have probably just stayed. That would have probably that would have just stayed the same. Um, Hulk would have came in, got the got the stone, got out, no problem. Then Captain America would have came back, put the stone back in where its proper timeline. So. Basically, getting the Tesseract, that was, that's where they kind of messed up at. But getting the Time Stone, nothing really happened or changed that much with that timeline. Getting the Mind Stone, Captain America kind of messed that up a little bit for the new Captain America, or at least for the new Timelines version of Captain America. So, let's say this. You have the base timeline, then you have, so far, a new branch of Timelines splitting. There's one so far. When they get in the Tesseract, uh, they kind of mess that one up. Uh, up. They kind of mess that one up, so, um, you know, uh, Iron Man got hit in the head with a Hulk, um, lost the Tesseract to Loki, which is kind of the result, because at least we get a, at least we get a little bit of a, a follow-up to that, because even though uh, the Tesseract fell out of its, like, case or container that they were holding it in, 
when Loki got it, where did he go? Everyone's thinking that he either went back in time to change a few things, or maybe he... Well, I'm assuming he went to prison because in the new Disney Plus show Loki, he's wearing like this type of prison suit uniform. He's in handcuffs and everything, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe he went back to Asgard and tried to rule the throne, or maybe he did and then got captured and went to prison. We'll find out in the new Loki movie, or not movie, a TV show that's supposed to, that was supposed to come out next year, I think? I think next spring. Um, I think it's next spring. So there's a second new timeline. So two new timelines have been formed from the original one. Then we go to 2013 in Thor The Dark World. My opinion, probably the worst Marvel movie ever. It is actually the debate between Thor The Dark World and Incredible Hulk. Apparently those are the two worst Marvel movies ever. Hell, if you want to get the whole entire plot of Thor The Dark World, just watch Avengers Endgame. Thor explains it, the whole thing. That's pretty much it. When Thor's explaining them about the Reality Stone, that's the whole entire plot of Thor The Dark World. That's it. Anyway, um, let's see. Although, nothing really changed there. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Nothing really changed there. Uh, even though Thor got to meet his, or see his mother again, she still ends up dying anyway, so her future kind of doesn't change that much. Although there is one thing I did notice. So even though Rocket was able to get, or at least extract the ether out of Jane Foster, my question is, how did they how did they put the ether back into Jane Foster? Maybe maybe doing that caused a new type of timeline to form or I don't know. Like it's interesting because I was also wondering why did Captain America take Thor's hammer back with him but he could give it to 2013's Thor, which is another thing. If tw if 2013 Thor didn't have his hammer at the time because it was in 2023, how would have Thor handled whatever he was handling? Would he have just, like, lost a fight or something? So I guess that whole thing with either putting the ether back in or taking it out or no hammer at all for Thor or putting the hammer back. Maybe a timeline did form but then got reset. So I don't know. That's, that's a possibility that happened. I don't know. Uh, let's see. The Power Stone. Okay, let's see. So... Even though War Machine and Nebula were able to knock out Peter Quill and they were able to take the Power Stone back to, the, to their present, Peter Quill then woke up and, oh, whoa, hang on. Maybe that would have changed things. Think about it. Peter Quill may have actually woken up before they could have brought the Power Stone back. So maybe he did go to the, uh, like the, I guess the whole sanctum or the whole area, not the sanctum, the whole place that was holding the power stone and maybe he saw that it wasn't there and then he left and then when captain america came back he put it put the power stone back and quill was already gone and he never had it and then ronin would have gotten it and then given it to thanos oh there's something there's a there's a possible new timeline right there so that'd be a third new timeline well It'd be a third new timeline, or maybe a fourth, including the ether one. I don't know about that one. That one's still kind of uh, itchy. And then the final one we have is the Soul Stone. Now, I don't think that could have been changed because it was either Hawkeye was going to die or Black Widow was going to die. A character that we don't really see much about or we didn't we don't really care for that much. It's like, oh, we think of the Avengers. We think of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Hulk, but we don't think of Hawkeye. Black Widow, we don't really think of her that much either, but she is has been around for like 10 years, so it was one of the two. But Clint Barton had a family. Natasha Romanoff didn't. Um, and I was actually wondering about that when I saw the trailer for Black Widow. Uh, I thought that, like, the Red Guardian and a bunch of all those other people that are around her, I thought that was actually her family. It turns out in a, I think, Civil War deleted scene, she actually did find her parents, but they were, you know, dead. If She found her tombstones anyway. So, I guess if Black Widow were to, if she, well, she did die in the end, um, which kind of set them into motion of having to fight for something. Now, my question is, what happens when you put 
the soul stone back. Do you get a soul back? So, also that would have been cool to see like Captain America see Red Skull again. Um, but it would have been interesting because maybe that maybe that is how it works and we just don't know. They Maybe Captain America gave back the soul stone and said, you have, okay, you're giving back a soul. We can give you a soul back. So, maybe he chose to bring back Tony Stark. Maybe he chose to bring... Uh, back to Tosh Romanoff. I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a new separate timeline kind of form there. Um, but that's that's pretty much at least all I can think about that happened when they were trying to get the Infinity Stones. Now, if they were now, let's say we were able to take out the Infinity Stones forever. Uh, let's see. Well, Vision. For starting with the Mind Stone, Vision would have never been made. Um, and Ultron, actually no, Age of Ultron would have never happened without the Mind Stone because the whole point was them trying to get the Mind Stone and in the end, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner made Ultron and then Ultron made Vision. So without the Mind Stone, Age of Ultron would have never happened. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, if we take out the Tesseract altogether, um, well granted they took the Tesseract from the 1970s. So, oh, wait, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, even though they took the test tracks in the 1970s, um, uh, Captain America still took the Pym particles from Hank Pym, so maybe he would have, I don't know, he probably would have just made more, or maybe he didn't have enough to continue his missions or something. I don't know. That's another thing that could have happened that could have separated a timeline, or uh, maybe that would have directed more towards Ant-Man time, Ant-Man's timeline. Um, but if they were not able to, like, if they took out the Tesseract in the 1970s, then I, I guess any project, oh, oh, Project Pegasus, Project Pegasus, that was a part of Captain Marvel, that's how the, uh, Tesseract got up to Marvel's uh, spaceship, or laboratory, or something, if she never would have had that power, then Captain, or Brie Larson, no, not Brie Larson, <laughs> It is the actress who plays Captain Marvel, but Carl Danvers would have never gotten the powers from the Tesseract because that's where she got her powers from. So Captain Marvel would have never existed. There's a theory. There's a thought. Uh, let's see. Take away the Time Stone. Doctor Strange would have never became Doctor Strange. He would have probably just been doing muscle therapy for his hands the whole time. And he probably would have never, well, he probably would have gone to, um, well, I don't know. Maybe the forces of darkness would have came in a lot sooner and destroyed a bunch of things. But even still, Doctor Strange wouldn't have gotten the Time Stone and when he would have never heard of, well, he probably would have still gone to meet the Ancient One, but he would never use the Time Stone. Um, the Aether, if the Aether was just taken out altogether, then Jane Foster could just return back to Earth. And she could live out the rest of her days. Uh, even though they took Thor's hammer with them, Thor would have probably had a hard, hard time doing whatever he was doing at the time when to, uh, 2023 Thor took the hammer. Uh, the Power Stone, like I said, if they take out the Power Stone altogether, uh, Peter Quill would have woken up, gone to the see where the Power Stone was at, see that wasn't there, and just left. And then, well, Ronan wouldn't have gotten it, and then Thanos wouldn't have had it. Well... The whole point of the whole time high thing was not to have Thanos get the stones anyway. Um, oh, that is another thing. They did make a new timeline because 2014 Gamora is now in 2023. So, and everything that about Thanos, everything about Thanos from 2014 was completely erased. So, in a way, they did make a new timeline. Because, like, the whole decimation of Xandar, that never happened. If they take out, if they, they destroyed Thanos' army, from, they destroyed 2014 Thanos' army in 2023, causing those nine years to never happen, that anything that Thanos did in those nine years never happened. And then the Soul Stone. If the Soul Stone was just completely taken out, I don't know what would have happened. If the Soul Stone was just taken out of the equation altogether, well, no, you'd have to. You still have to kill someone to get it. So either way, the Soul Stone just you're gonna, someone's gonna have to die. Um, and then I think it's all the Infinity Stones. I'm telling you, this movie, this movie, this movie, 
set up. I th I'm pretty sure the villain is either it's named uh, I can't remember his name. Either it's like Kang or something. It's uh, he's a known Marvel villain who has attacked the Avengers many times. Um, I'm pretty sure he's like a time traveler or some type of like dimensional time being or something from like thousands of years in the future, and I'm pretty sure he controls the flow of specific timelines. So this movie could direct their attention towards Kang in season five, or not season five, in um, Avengers 5. They said that the, this is the last Avengers movie. Technically, yes, but with the original good Avengers. Eventually, um, since the original six Avengers retired, there are going to be a new bunch of Avengers going to be in phase five. Um, at least that's what I've heard. They're supposed to be making a fifth Avengers movie, which they might make it, but it might not be as good and memorable as the other four. Well... Age of Ultron kind of sucked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was okay. It had it, it had it, it, it had its moments. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the different timelines that would have been made. So there's there's a lot of timelines that could have been completely changed if they take out all the Infinity Stones. If all six Infinity Stones were never in play, well, not including the if you don't include the Soul Stone because the Soul Stone couldn't really like do anything different besides that. Unless there is a way that could have, it could have been affected. I had no idea. Um, and then I explained how, like, there could have been, like, three or four different new timelines once they put the soul, or once they put all the, uh, the stones back. Um, Captain America kind of messed some things up. I feel like Captain America kind of messed up some timeline events for himself. Uh, but that's too, that's... That's 2012 cast problem now. That's not his. So, that's going to be pretty much it for today's episode. If you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. And let me know if there's any timelines or any possible chances of a new timeline splitting. If there's any I missed. Um, let me know if there's anything that you think that could have happened differently with the Soul Stone. If it was taken out, I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Because someone would have had to die to get it. So... I don't know, that, that whole Soul Stone is still unknown because we haven't really seen that much of it in the MCU. If you guys do like this video, share it with your friends and family. You can send them my way. I can show them cool videos like this one and all the other videos I've made in the past. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. This is Nighthawk, and I'll see you guys in the next video.